What's up guys, it's Crypt, and I'm here with a new video. This is the Loadouts Part A update for Main Militia Classic. If you guys don't know how to get this, if you're on Android, just update it through the App Store. Google Play Store, it'll be there. It's version 0.2.0. .0. Version 0.2.1 is coming out soon for bug fixes. And Part B is going to come out soon. It's going to be a lot better than what it currently is. But I'm going to do a little showcase for you guys. Tell you what it's about, how to use it. And yeah. So when you win matches and get kills, you get these things called battle coins. And while you respawn, you can use these battle coins to basically spawn with any weapon you want. Right now, you can only have the preset classes that they have set up. But in the future, I think in Part B, you can customize the loadouts however you want. So you can set up your own classes and spawn with them, just like in Call of Duty and other games like that. So you can pick any weapon you want. And this is very controversial, especially for pro players, because a lot of pros believe that that kind of ruins the game flow, myself included. I think this is only viable for quick play. You cannot use this in custom. But I do believe that this can change the flow of the game in a good way. I think that in a 1v1, it all depends on sniper. Everyone knows that. So, you can actually set the points, like how many points the player can use per game. I think people should be able to use 1,000 points per game. So if they want to spawn with Sniper once, they can in a pro 1v1. So it's not completely unfair. If they don't have the Sniper, they're allowed to spawn with it once, and that's it. This could be an extremely good update, guys. Because imagine you're in a pro 1v1, and you haven't had Sniper all game, and you want to get Sniper, or at least spawn with Shotgun or something beneficial besides an Uzi or a Magnum Tech 9 or whatever. Or even spawn with dual Tech 9s. You can do that with this update. I do believe pro players should try to utilize this update and not just automatically toss it away and refuse to use it. People are always complaining about how the game is unfair, that it's sniper based. If you don't like it, let people pick what weapons they want to spawn with so it's fair for everyone. I'm not saying let everyone spawn with sniper every time because I know that's what's going to happen. That's why there's limits. You have to set limits. You see on the screen right now, there's different prices for different classes. The sniper is going to be like 1,000 coins or whatever the sniper is. Make it that is what the cap is. So people can get sniper once, but if they get the sniper once, they have to choose valuably when they get it. Because if they waste it, they can't get it again. So yeah, I do believe tournaments from now forward should have the option to spend points on loadouts and not make the limit zero. If you want to make the limit zero, you can. Like, if you don't want people spending any loadout points and making, like, a pure classic gameplay, you can. But I think everyone should try it out. You know, don't just toss it away right away. Just give it a chance. I think it could be a good update. You can customize literally everything. You can choose the grenades you have, how many grenades you have, um, you can choose the perks you have. So basically the store is going to go away. Like the store that we know of now is going to go away. And you can choose four different perks to have. And I think you can stack perks. And I think that's a mistake. I don't know if they're going to fix that to where like you can only have one. Um, because right now it's only for show. But when I go to customize my loadouts, I can put like, four times health regen times four. Like I can put that on there four times. And I don't know if that's going to be like that in the official release for this part B, but I hope it's not because that's 16 times health regen. So I can regen all of my health in four to five seconds. That's extremely overpowered. So I don't think that's going to be in part B. I hope the hell it's not. Uh, if it is, they're probably going to fix it anyways. But yeah, you can choose four different perks to put on your loadout. You can choose the grenades, how many grenades. You can have a dual wield weapon. You can have any weapon you want. I think it's going to be really fun. 
especially for quick play. People should definitely use this for quick play, even if they refuse to use it in professional 1v1s or clan wars. But this could definitely work in clan wars too, guys. It could shift the game completely. Like, if you spawn on someone with a shotgun, you can change the whole game. Like, as you saw earlier in this video, I can spawn with a shotgun. And if you spawn on top of someone with that shotgun, that can change the whole entire game. Also, you can delay your spawn. People can't spawn trap you. Because the longer you stay in the loadout screen, the longer it takes your character to spawn in. So it's harder to spawn trap people. So you could purposely stay in that screen and not spawn in until you're ready. So that's just a little tip for you guys. But yeah, people were asking me to make a tutorial on this or just my opinions on it. So I did. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I really have to say. I'm really excited for part B. I'm going to try to stay as positive as I can about this update. Just like I was positive when V5 came out. Even though I don't play V5 much anymore. I still gave it a chance. I'm going to give these developers a chance to. These are the OG developers. I got mad respect for them. But yeah. See you later guys. Peace.